me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, girl. So we have finally made it to the grand finale of my Road to 40 series. This is my birthday vlog. Um, today is the day before my birthday, actually. Just made myself some tea in my Scorpio mug. <laughs> Team Scorpio. So to wrap all of this up, I hope you've joined me from episode one all the way now to episode eight. But we started off with manifestation and now here we are six months later, the day before my actual 40th birthday. So if you've been keeping up, my last video was my birthday lunch video. Um, last weekend, um, last Saturday was exactly one week before my birthday. So I met up with some family and friends and we had some lunch. You can see my birthday balloon still right there. You can actually still see the birthday, uh, the balloons from my birthday photo shoot. They're still hanging out. <laughs> And then my birthday balloons there that say 40, my birthday flowers right here. I actually need to put the rest of the um, plant food in there and give them some fresh water to get them through another week. But I just wanted to kind of go and um, do like a gift haul with you, a gift haul for my, my birthday gifts. Um, first, I want to go over the gifts um, that I opened already at my, my birthday lunch last week. So this gift right here, um, this um, this has my, my cards in it. Um, from all the cards that I got, um, the monies that I got. Um, thank you, everybody. I had so much fun at my birthday lunch. It was it was definitely a good time. Also at my my birthday lunch, um, I got this cute bag um, from my mother in law, and I really like it. It comes with like a gold strap um, <clears throat> to make it like a crossbody, but I like it like this. I feel like it's nice and roomy. It's like probably the same size as like my, you know, my, my favorite blue bucket bag, but I like it. I'm, I think, um, I had another bag in mind to wear, um, tomorrow when we go to the wine tasting, but this one might actually work too. So I might wear this one. Um, but also, um, she got me some cute earrings. Um, these are really cute. Let me open them. They're, they're like wooden earrings, I think. Yeah, these are cute. These are real cute and they're lightweight. I love like, I love big statement earrings, but I hate really heavy earrings. I don't like that. I feel like it's pulling my ears down. And then also I got these two fabulous pair of resin earrings handmade by my good friend, Simone. Um, I hadn't seen her in a whole minute and she was able to come to my birthday lunch and she handmade these for me. You can see it's from her boutique. It's called Ready to Rain. Um, I will link her site down below because she has a lot of beautiful options. She actually made me um, a cuff, um, a leopard print cuff um, custom for me. She made me um, some other earrings that I already have. Um, but um, I think she had said these are on the site, but she said these are not on the site yet. They might be by the time this video goes up because this was already a week ago. Um, but I think I think I might want to wear these to the wine tasting tomorrow because these will match my outfit and my cute little straw hat that I'm wearing. I think I might pop these on tomorrow. Thanks, girl. Okay, and then she also got me an Ulta gift card. Her and um, husband got me <laughs> Ulta gift cards. So um, I have already, I, did, I still have some funds left between the two cards, but not too much. <laughs> so what I got actually from Ulta, I actually just re-upped on some stuff that I was going to be getting soon anyway. So um, the one thing I'm almost out of, like almost completely 100% out of, is this Good Molecules um, Nice and my Brightening Toner. I love this toner. I mean, you can see my skin does too. All of my dark marks, especially like down here um, that I thought were going to be like permanent dark marks. They are almost completely gone. And it was once I started using this toner. It's a good molecules brightening niacinamide toner. And it is everything. I love this toner. And um, this is, this was $14. And then I also got, um, the next thing I'm almost out of is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. And this is the 30% AHA and the 2% um, BHA Peeling Solution. It's, you wear it for 10 minutes twice a week. 
and it gets your pores all the way right and for an oily girl like me with larger pores this has made a major difference i've been i was actually recommended to start using this from my doctor like my regular doctor and um i love it it absolutely works and i've been using it since october and i can tell a major difference in my skin major 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 so if you have um oily skin large pores um textured skin that you're trying to even out um you know kind of want to brighten things up this is definitely great to add to your regimen and then the last thing oh this is um 950 only 950 and then um i got another uh, girl this is like my third one of these maybe third or fourth one of these actually this is the pacifica glow baby um vitamin c serum it has vitamin c and glycolic acid and baby i go through these this is actually the most expensive thing in my skincare regimen is 18 dollars um and ever since I started wearing it, um, I introduced it into my AM and PM skincare routine. Then, you know, I kind of, I do kind of go through it, but I mean, I can't deny it. my skin loves it. My skin loves it. I like it for AM for the vitamin C and vitamin C, you know, works well. And when it's not in direct sunlight, so if you want to use it a PM, it's great for that too. And then also the glycolic acid, um, Neither of these two are at their highest concentrate in this product, so it's good, you know, to be able to, to wear both together in one product and on a daily basis. So I highly recommend all three of these products. So that was my Ulta haul. That's what I got with myself uh, for myself with um, the gift cards. And like I said, I still have some funds left on those. And then um, also, um, that was all that was from my, my birthday lunch, other than the cards. Um, but I also got this bath and body works gift from my cousin um i did already open it but i haven't opened it with you so i'll show you what's in here and i love it she got me a set a cute little set and it is the champagne toast i think that's what it's called right yeah the champagne toast and girl this scent smells so good like so good this is the body wash and then it also came with this is the um like the body lotion and then the hand cream um obviously also of the champagne toast and then also in this little bag is the body mist again of the champagne toast this is really good it's really good i really like it and then also what came in here is the matching candle i love it oh this smells so good every time i go over her house she has like a bath and body works candle going like two or three of them and i always say girl which candle you got and it's like it, I, this i think this is one of the ones that she circulates because I don't know if maybe just because this scent now reminds me of her because she gave it to me or I'm remembering it because I've been smelling it at her house. But I'm definitely going to leave it. I love to have a candle going while I'm at work, especially now that it's getting cooler. And right now, I'm almost done with my fall candle. So this will be like my, my glam holiday fragrance. Um, I'm definitely going to light this like as soon as I get my holiday stuff up. But that is that for my Bath & Body Works gift. And then everything else I have that's left is from Husbay. And it is, <laughs> well, not all of it. Well, some of it is actually what I asked for, so I know what it is. But um, so I don't know if you remember before, like a few vlogs ago, when, like, when I was redoing, you know, getting my office together. And I was like, the only thing I really need to do um, is I told my husband I wanted a new office chair for my birthday. And then I wanted to do for my when I did my birthday photo shoot, whichever picture I liked best, I was going to um, have it in the replace this frame where I have my my boutique's logo. So I did pick the pic that I, I liked best from my birthday photo shoot. And I'm getting that printed up now and that'll be here next week. And I'll um, replace that and what's framed now. But when it came to that chair my office chair girl okay <laughs> let me see so i go i put the you know we're about to order the chair for my birthday it's gonna get here and we'll be able to put it it probably would have been here in time but it probably would have been put together already and i go to check out and it's 40 dollars for shipping 40 dollars for a 60 dollar chair 
I'm paying a hundred dollars for an office chair. And I know there are plenty of office chairs that are several hundred dollars. That's not what I was going for. It was a $60 chair and I kind of expected it to be free shipping or at the most, maybe $10 for shipping. It's not, it wasn't, it didn't weigh a lot. I mean, literally for my husband's birthday back in May, I ordered him a whole basketball goal that was free shipping. We just ordered um, that wine cart that we just put together a few vlogs ago. That was free shipping. I, I'm not about to pay nobody's $40 to ship nothing. So I was like, let me just sit on this. My husband was like, what you think about it? Uh, I was like, mm, I don't know. I still haven't got that chair. I have opted out. So anyway, instead of that chair, I just ordered like a, um, a couple other things. Um, two of which are, I believe, these, well, these better be um, the books that I ordered. Um, so a couple years ago, I think my husband actually bought me a book. It's actually this book right here is a romance novel by a black author um called Frances Ray. She's actually passed away. She's um I believe she um got sick and passed in 2013. But anyway, he got me this book and it was called With Just One Kiss. And you know, about halfway through the book I'm realizing that this is like a one in a series. So, um I never really thought much of it and I finished the book and then I, from time to time I'll go through and recycle some books that I haven't read in a while and I read it again and I was like let me just look and see what the other ones are so I found them the first one in the series is also clearly uh, obviously by Francis Ray and it's called A Seductive Kiss and it's about the first um couple and then it's part two which is the one I already have which is just with just one kiss and then part three is obviously again by Francis Ray and it's called A Dangerous Kiss and that is part three so now I have the complete set so I was actually thinking that when we leave for my birthday trip tomorrow I may just take this one with me and get a few chapters in on the way there I mean why not <laughs> But so these are the two books that I got for my birthday. Part one and part three of the series of which I already have part two. Oh, it came with a little bookmark. Oh, how cute. Okay. And then um, the next thing that I got that, again, I already know what it is. Um, whenever I'm like getting my outfits together and I'm like, I'm going to wear my favorite rose gold watch from Mindset Collection. I finally got the other watch that I've been wanting for them for maybe like a year now. Oh, girl, she's pretty. Uh, I wanted this gold watch with the gold face. They have another gold watch that has a black face like my rose gold one has the black face. But I wanted this all gold. Uh, she is pretty. I know I'm going to have to adjust it like I did my other one oh. yeah it's gonna be too big but oh, look oh she is cute girl I'm definitely taking this with me so it comes with the little um the little screw thing that it has for you to um adjust where this buckle part goes so it's a you can literally get a custom fit without having to take it to a jeweler or anything because i've had link watches before and i always have to take them to a jeweler to get some of the links taken out because my wrist is so tiny and um this is actually from a small black woman owned business um again called the mindset collection and she wrote me a handmade thank you note she gave me a couple coupons in here um i actually met uh well i i found her when i had my boutique and she was one of the business she's actually based out of dallas texas i believe or the dallas area and um this is her i don't know if you can even see but that's her and i think that might be the watch that i have the rose gold one um and I also have this cute little um, bangle. It's like a, a bangle bracelet from her. Uh, she's so sweet. She's so sweet. I love her. Um, I don't ever read personal stuff. I, if you notice, I didn't read none of my cards. Well, I did read my cards, but I cut that out of my video. I, don't, I prefer to just keep that. But her name is Courtney Hicks. And she. I will link this below as well. So if you want to go and support a small black woman-owned business, Please do so. She has some fabulous pieces and I cannot wait to wear this. Okay, so the only other thing I have 
is <laughs> this gift right here. It says open on November 18th. I'm going to open it today. I've actually, it's been sitting here in my office since I believe Labor Day weekend. <laughs> and I'm, I think I know what it is because we were looking at it a couple days before. And I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm fine. I'll wait. I'm not going to get it. And and then it popped up in my office that open on November 18th. And then it's from Hus Bay, obviously. And he told me, he was like, you can open it now. When he, when he gave it to me, like those couple months ago. And I was like, no, I'll wait. But since we're going to be out of town, tomorrow on the 18th and i'm opening like all the you know going up my other gifts i'm gonna go ahead and open this one now so <laughs> it is what i thought <laughs> it is prince of purple rain on vinyl it's a limited edition <laughs> the prince Purple Rain, The Prince and the Revolution, limited edition, baby. Look at how, like, this is the actual album with Prince on there. Girl, I love me some Prince. I love me some Prince. I love me some old school music. I love me a good vinyl record. Girl, we got Let's Go Crazy, Take Me With You, The Beautiful Ones, Ugh, Computer Blue, Zara Nikki, and her freaky ass. When Doves Cry, Die For You, Baby I'm A Star, and of course, Purple Rain. Classics. Classics from start to finish. Ugh. I cannot. Girl. Do I have time to get into this today? Let me show you what's happening on the back. Look at the revolution, girl. Look at all of this. 80s. <laughs> so incredibly 80s. This is quintessential 80s girl i love it <laughs> what's this is this a poster girl this is a post girl, <laughs> girl this, this came with a whole poster <laughs> look at prince and all that cleavage girl i am not putting this up <laughs> Hey girl, hey, it is finally my 40th birthday. Today is my 40th birthday. It is D-Day. It is finally here. I've been waiting on this day for so long, but your girl is 40. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> All right, girl, so we are dressed and ready to go. The car is packed. We are headed to Fredericksburg to spend the day wine tasting and lounging in the vineyards and seeing what else they got going on but i am going to show you a quick fit check before we head out so let's take a look okay so just real quick i have on my exclusive earrings from ready to rain for my birthday gift thanks boo these will be linked i also have my all gold mindset collection watch as another birthday gift thank you husband this will also be linked um i have my hat that I decided is definitely a go for today. Husband said it's cute, so we're going to keep it. My fragrance of the entire weekend, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I already got that spritzed on. Let me do another one just because. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. And then my bag. I was going back and forth between um, to wear this one or the one that my mother-in-law gave me for my birthday. And this one does match my outfit a little bit better. So I decided to stick with this one. I have on my beige slides with the gold buckle. And then my full two-piece set. This is so cute. It fits so cute. Mm, we got the little split action there. I am loving my birthday day outfit with the bag and the hat i do have a little you know long sleeves to go over just in case we do get a little chilly while we're out at the vineyards or touring the facilities the winery but let me go ahead and get ready to go because like i said everything is packed and ready and we are about to get on to this birthday trip
round two. So okay. Our rose is to get strawberry, watermelon, cranberry, and sweat. A little bit of pineapple and banana. That's really the whole produce style. But you're also going to get very light, fruity, refreshing. Lunch with the wine tasting. I forget what this one is called, but it's good as hell. This is round four. Muscat Canelli. Muscat Canelli. It sounds good to me. <laughs> But I would give this one out of four stars. I would give it a, I would give it a three, a strong three. It is pretty sweet. I like it. So a surprising winner, the 2022 Muscat Canali. We thought it was gonna be the Sweet Dreams, but no, we actually like this one better. This one right here, much sweeter. into our room let's do a quick room tour first off of the entry right here we have a bathroom with this nice lighted mirror toilet shower towels this is a nice nice cute shower extra towels this is a cute that's a nice shower I like that. Hopefully my clumsy ass don't slip. You know how I do. Oh, hey girl, they got Dove. Hey Dove. Okay. Full length mirror. Bam. Bam. All right, moving right along. We have a closet, ironing board, hangers, a luggage rack. And then we're coming into the actual bedroom. We got husband and his stuff, some nice artwork big king size bed bedside table with a cute lamp chair another table over here that's where i have my luggage yeah we came in the ac room turned that right off we don't have a view but well i mean <laughs> we don't have a view <laughs> there's not really much to view here to be completely honest it's Fredericksburg. there's the only thing to view is the the wineries and they're just down the way a little bit and then we have this table over here. I have a bag full of snacks. Mainly, I brought this. I was actually just gonna put like a few things of candy in there and um, like some water and, and then it turned into this, so. <laughs> and then um, we have the TV, the microwave, and is that the refrigerator? Yeah. Okay, girls, I just wanted to touch base and check in with you just right quick while we're at our little intermission of the day. Um, the wine tasting was great. Everything was delicious. Um, that, oh, don't, I'm not even going to attempt to say, girl, you know how I be butchering names of things. But we got um, three bottles of wine. We got one of the rosé and two of the one that we really, really like. Well, let me see real quick. Here it is. 
Okay, it was the Muscat Muscat Canelli. We got two of those, and then we got one of the um, rose. So we got in, we left with three bottles of wine. So after the actual wine tasting, we went to just kind of walk around the actual vineyards and everything, and we stopped at this cute little spot to take some pictures. And I back up. It's like some you know some trees behind me. So I back up to take some pictures, and girl ants climbing up my skirt, all over my feet, my shoes. I'm like trying to get these ants off me, doing a little get off me ant dance, and I busted my shoe. See, <laughs> those gold buckles popped right on off, girl. I was trying to get those ants off me, and they were fire ants. Like they were not just ants, ants. They was like on a mission. They moved up my skirt so fast, and it was a lot of them on my skirt, on my shoes, on my feet. So this is what's left of my shoes. <laughs> but yeah, girl, I'm a, I'm a make it work type of girl. So I may just cut those little loops off and take the gold buckles off the other shoe and keep it popping with these shoes. But I wasn't wearing these um, again for this trip anyway. This I'm, a, you know, putting something else on for later. But um, we're just about to chill out for a bit. Um, and then later tonight, we'll um, go to dinner. Alright girls, so we are just about ready for dinner tonight. Got out the shower, we did a fresh beat. A lot of beat this morning, but I did do black liner instead of the brown that I normally do to kind of give it a little bit more of an evening look. And then I'm just gonna do the same lip combo that I did earlier. Which is just the brown liner. Wet and Wild Simma Brown now, and the NYX Butter Gloss and Spike Toffee. Okay. Okay. And then for jewelry, I went with these gold diamond-shaped link earrings and the all gold mindset collection watch i was thinking about this necklace but i don't know i feel like it might be doing too much i don't feel like everything is doing too much girl just wear the damn necklace i brought it i haven't worn it in forever okay kind of goes with the earrings right <laughs> Big link, little links, and then I have. Let me get a full fit together for you. Okay, full fit. We got the snake skin flats. We got the ripped, distressed medium wash boyfriend jeans. We got the little red, bright red crop top with this fun. I don't know how much of the material of this blazer is coming through, but it's just a nice one material and then this fun clutch keeping it cute let's go to dinner and bang husband show me your outfit of the night we got the red croco air forces with the great with the gold trim dark denim jeans gray tee and the black suede jacket. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. Mm. Do you want to sit here or inside a park? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to sit here or inside a park? Do you want to sit here or inside a park? Do you want to sit here or inside a park? Oh, hey, are you 
All right, girl. So we just got back in to our hotel from dinner. We actually had to call an audible with dinner. The restaurant we had plans to go to. We actually got there and it was really cute, but it was really, really busy. And there was about a 45 minute wait um, to be seated. And then from there, once we probably would have been seated, there would have only been like, 15, 20 minutes left for the restaurant to be open. So we did a quick Google search and found another spot. We ended up in downtown Fredericksburg, which was like um, kind of the bar scene. There were, like I said, there were bars, there were lounges, there was restaurants, there were more um, winery places, there were party buses, there was people everywhere. So it was kind of like a cute little spot to end up in. Um, the place we actually ended up going to had um, really good casual food. I got um, the BLT, which oh, it was the BL Texas, which is a BLT. And um, husband got a, like a pork chop burger. Um, they were both really good. The fries were really, really good. My drink that I got was a strawberry lemon drop. And you know, lemon drops are like my new favorite drink ever. So that strawberry one was A plus. It was really, really good. Um, but we had we had a really good time. Um, what I will say um, is that where we were seated, it was right in between two groups of what seemed to be single ladies, and they were just talking about their dating experience each on both sides. Um, and I kind of feel a mix of feelings. You know, coming out of that situation, I feel like listening to those ladies, I feel like the dating scene right now is horrific. If you're looking for like a real, true, genuine, exclusive, monogamous relationship, the odds are not in your favor. And they were talking about, you know, how, you know, being single, you know, they're struggling right now being single and finding good quality partners to be with. And they were each taking turns telling their struggles um each being very supportive of, of each other but um on the uh, you know on, on both sides there were a group of ladies on this side and a group of ladies on this side and they were both given their you know their single lady struggle you know struggles with the dating scene so on one hand that made me feel really really sad for them you know i it, it it's not looking good and it may not get any better for them and I feel really sad for them because it feels like you know relationship is something that they they're really wanting when it may just be they need to kind of you know start to look within themselves and find what they need within themselves and not really focus so much on finding a relationship but that's somewhat of a different topic and then on the other hand it made me feel really truly blessed that I for one am not single and that for two I'm in a relationship but not just any relationship but a healthy thriving successful marriage and that was always the goal for me. And it is something that I accomplished a long time ago um, as far as the marriage. And we've always, you know, worked to get, you know, our marriage to a really, really good place, a really good, comfortable, stable place. It's not boring, but really healthy and strong. And we are there. And I just feel really grateful for that, especially after hearing, you know, the conversations I heard tonight um, on what happens to be <laughs> my 40th birthday. But overall, I had an absolutely wonderful birthday. The day was amazing from start to finish. Everything didn't go exactly according to plan, but what day does? And I could not feel more blessed and grateful 
for this wonderful day that I had, but also for my whole road to 40, all my birthday celebrations of where I am in life right now. You know, like I said, six months ago, I started off this whole journey with, you know, manifesting what I wanted my life to look like going into this next chapter, this new phase, this new decade. And I am here. Everything that I wanted for myself, everything that I said six months ago that I wanted to start working on, I'm here, mind, body, soul, financially, mental health wise. You know, I'm I'm I have put in the work and I am basking it in the glow of my success right now. And I, I love that for me. I could not be more excited about where I'm about to go in this next few months, few few years even as I really kind of settle into my 40s and kind of keep learning and growing and just becoming a better and better version of myself. So again, I love that for me and I am so excited about where things are going and how things are looking for me. But thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Thank you so much for keeping up with me on this road to 40. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.